Konnichiwa. So if you're thinking about studying Japanese next year, it most likely means that you've already found yourself enjoying the challenges and the satisfaction of understanding a foreign language. And it's quite likely that you've also experienced that little buzz you get from being able to communicate and make yourself understood. In years nine and 10 Japanese, our goal is for you to keep developing your confidence without worrying too much about making minor mistakes. And by the end of year 10, you should have a, a fairly solid foundation that will help you to comprehend and communicate across a variety of day-to-day -day situations using your Japanese language skills. You'll also be able to write Japanese using each of the three scripts, hiragana, katakana, and kanji. When considering Japanese as a subject choice for next year, it's also very important to understand that studying foreign languages can offer you far more in terms of skills than just the language itself. You will certainly gain a deeper understanding of other cultures, become more open-minded, more appreciative of difference and diversity, and much more resilient when facing unfamiliar situations. Studying Japanese will also help you to develop essential academic skills that will be useful across all your other subject areas. Uh, these strategies that help you to interpret and deduce the meaning of language and content through logic and context. Japanese is a very lateral language which many students find appealing. To help you reach this point, we'll use a variety of different resources and activities in class. For example, we'll watch Japanese anime with subtitles, listen to Japanese music, watch game shows and television ads, and we'll celebrate different Japanese festivals, things like that. We often have Japanese students visit our classes and your family will have the chance to host these students from time to time. Boys in year 10 and above will have the opportunity to travel Japan with the school group on the biennial Japanese language and cultural tour. You should also be aware that if you're a student who enjoys learning both Japanese and French at school, it is possible to continue studying both languages and there are a number of boys who, who do take up this opportunity. Each language presents its own challenges and rewards. Finally, it's important for you to know that studying Japanese in years 9 and 10 is necessary if a student wishes to choose the language as a subject in years 11 and 12. So good luck with your decisions and please do come and chat with me if I can answer any questions for you. Come on there.